West Point, June 1962. Here, some 50 miles up the Hudson from New York, June means graduation, the beginning of a career as a regular Army officer, the end of four years of intensive preparation. And at the nation's other service academies each June, the story is much the same. Here on the banks of the Severn River in Maryland, the men of Annapolis are focusing their thoughts on the years ahead as they prepare to begin their active service in the regular Navy or in the Marine Corps. And here in the high, clear-skied mountain country near Denver, the men of the Air Force Academy put an extra measure of snap and precision into their final moments as cadets. For the graduates of all three academies, the challenge ahead is great. Much is going to depend upon them, for from among their disciplined and dedicated ranks will come the soldier statesmen of tomorrow. West Point, as the oldest of our nation's service academies, has for nearly 160 years produced young leaders whose professional lives were to reflect a profound devotion to the academy's three-word motto, duty...